somebody from Jamaica, come on. And listen, I'm not going to prolong the time anymore because I want to hear from and get the vibe for where we're going because I know I told y'all it was halftime and there's no telling where we're going to go in this second half, even though we're still in the month of June, but this is the second half of Wakana. This is Wake Up to Wakana. Welcome to all of our brand new people that are here, our brand new distributors. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are about to hear from the dynamic, the vibrations, the one and only CEO, the hardest working CEO in the world, Melissa Boston, who is a visionary, who is the CEO of our company, who was given this gift that dropped in her spirit, and she didn't just hear it, but she moved on it. She's a social media strategist, retired from corporate America at the age of 33 and a half years old, never turned back built teams in over 46 countries, so there's absolutely no telling where we're going. Melissa, are you there? Wow, can you hear me, Dr. Ross? Yes, I can. Okay, wonderful. Every time I hit that star star, I want to make sure that mute did go off. So I want to thank you so much for all that you do. You know, it's always exciting when I wake up and I hear from you. Um, you're just such a dynamic leader. Thank you for holding it down in our absence. I tell you what, every day, you know, the call is just moving forward. And I just so appreciate all that you do as one of our Emerald Directors, really just helping to bless all of our businesses. And I want to say good morning, good morning, good morning. I mean, hey, you get on this line after a trip to Jamaica, and all you can hear is laughter, excitement. You can just feel the vibe. You know, we had 31 people that actually joined, you know, Wakana on that amazing trip. And just this electricity this morning on the call, it's like the wind has shifted, right? We, we got to do these trips um, all the time. And, and I want you guys to really have the chance to experience what they've had a chance to experience. And I want to just say good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, everyone, all of our brand new distributors. If you have just joined us in Wakana, we want to welcome you and say good morning, good morning. For those of you who might have just ranked advanced, you know, whether you hit this month for the first time in May, bronze or silver or gold, we want to say congratulations to you and all of our pearls and jade, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, diamonds. Good morning and welcome to you and all of our Jamaica winners. We want to congratulate each and every one of you. Hopefully you are all on the line because we have a very special treat this morning. You know, just really wanted to bring the line, some of the fun that happened in Jamaica, just so that you guys could really start now dream building for the next time, you know, we have a trip like this. You're not going to want to miss it, okay? And so we want to thank you, first of all, for waking up to Wakana. I do want to start this call by sharing our mission and our vision statement. Our vision is we exist. We exist to help end the negative stigma that has caused communities around the world to suffer and lose out on the health and wealth benefits of the cannabis plant. Our mission is we are the catalyst to stir a movement that inspires people to confidently move into the legal space as entrepreneurs, formulators, and investors, evoking the courage and strength of people to take back their health, wealth, legacy, and freedom. And so again, you know, this morning, it's really about Jamaica non, okay? You know, because we know that everyone's feeling so amazing. I mean, many of them um, got back last night. We did have a few people that actually got stranded when they canceled a few connecting flights. And so if you are in that boat, hey, we're wishing you safe travels. I know one of our speakers who are going to be on this morning, she's in that boat. So Dr. Kim and Philip, we want to just say safe travels to both of you. I know their connecting flight um, got canceled last night. So they're actually on a flight right now as we speak. Okay. And so again, there were 31 people joined us in Jamaica. Hopefully you've had a chance to, you know, go on social media you know, see what all the excitement's been about. And I just have to make a, just a quick update for some of you that may not even have been aware, but last week I actually did not make it to Jamaica. Me or my husband had an unexpected, you know, emergency, just had a chance to, um, you know, be here locally. And it was kind of cool. I mean, because in, at the end of the day, when you have 31 of kind of like people that you feel like are you're responsible for, right? Like your babies, right? You just want to make sure everything's going well. And I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you to our corporate team that was there. Thank you to Kathy Weathersby, to Phyllis Nash, to Dan Johnson, Sylvia Covington, 
I know we had even Tracy Bolton there in the house. And so our corporate team, Shannon King, you know, who had a chance to actually win the trip, but just still be there for us as eyes and ears. You know, for me, you know, I was wanting to be in Jamaica more than I wanted to breathe. I was so like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I'm not going to be there. But guess what? They stepped in and really ensured, you know, everything just got attended to guys. Um, you know, this was a big investment for us. You know, this is probably the biggest trip so far, for sure, that we've ever, ever done, right? And so we really, you know, went out of our way, wanted to make sure that, you know, whatever kind of happened, we just kept moving and, you know, everything stayed, you know, positive. We know that sometimes life is a test of leadership, right? You know, they say that 10% is really what happens to you and 90% how you respond. And all I can say, guys, is when I had to share with, you know, Kathy and Phyllis, hey, guys, I'm not going to be there. They just stepped up, you know, stepped up, really stepped in to really help facilitate things. And so I, again, just want to thank everyone who did anything at all to ensure that this trip, you know, went smooth, because we know that things happen right all the time. And it's always about how we respond. And so what I want to do real quick, guys, though, I actually have some folks on the line, you know, who actually not only won this trip, but became a part of our top five. You know, since I've been in the industry of network marketing, I've had a chance to travel the world. I mean, from Turkey to places in Asia, Macau, Hong Kong, Singapore, all over Europe, I mean, Tahiti, I mean, you name it, you know, I feel like I've been there, okay? And what's a blessing is when you're in a networking company like this, you know, oftentimes you can find that you can live and travel these exotic countries and never pay for them, okay? In fact, I've paid for less than five vacations in my lifetime, okay? Most of them have been all expense paid, you know, from companies um, who just, again, they, they reward people, you know, as top leaders. They really want to put you in a position to say, hey, if you come and build this company, right, if you come and bring it, we're going to bring it for you. We're going to give back. We're going to pour back. We're going to ensure that you have a lifestyle that most people only dream about, Okay. And so for those of you who paid attention last year, you know, we had this whole big to do about not only joining us in Jamaica, that's the first step, you know, don't miss out. And many of you did that. You hit Ruby. Some of you requalified as Ruby. Some of you requalified as Emerald. Some of you requalified as Diamond. So there was many things that you guys did to really help ensure you didn't miss Jamaica. But some of you went it a little further and you said you're going to be a part of this top five experience and we told you you know we're going to do something spectacular for the top five in fact as now we have the top five next time it might be top 10 because we just keep seeing this getting bigger we see now everybody wanting to be a part of the top five so we'll probably have to expand it just to make sure you know all of those who, who really go out and crush it you know that we can include you in any extra special things that we do. And so today, what I want to do is some of the top five that, that are on the line, I'm going to just let you hear from them because I think one of the biggest takeaways, you know, it's one thing to experience a trip as a leader, but it's a whole nother level when you get to experience it with your team, when you get to see the people you're bringing on board, and now they're qualifying for this trip, and they're able to take their lives to the next level. And then before you know it, you go on a trip and you're looking around, and you're like, oh, my goodness, there are five people from my team on this trip. There, there's 10 people. At that point, you know, you know you're already at diamond level. At that point, you already know your business is generating millions of dollars of revenue. And, and it's just such a rewarding feeling. It's such an exciting feeling. And the great thing about these leaders, do you know that every one of them had somebody there from their team? Is that not cool or what? So that basically means they've already put their business in such a leadership role that their teams are also winning these trips as well. And so we're going to first hear from them, and then I have some updates for our CV. I know some of you did qualify for CV in May, but you did it the last few days, and so maybe your names are just getting on the list. And so I want to go ahead and make sure before this concludes that I have a chance to acknowledge everyone who hit CV last month, and I know many of you pushed for that $1,000 silver rank, and so congratulations. And so the first thing I want to do, um, I do know I did get a text from Dr. Kim about her flight, so hopefully everyone else in the top five, they are on the line this morning. And so I want to first 
bring up someone who really needs no introduction. I mean, this lady is such a fierce competitor. I mean, we're just seeing her team just go crazy lately. I mean, they're on fire, right? I mean, you see what's happening. All of a sudden, you know, they put Massachusetts on the map, but now they're putting New York on the map. And I'm telling you what, you know, I was here in updates, you know, had a chance to debrief with the team there in Jamaica every day. And I tell you what, this lady was out there recruiting. She was doing scans. She was making new connections. And that was amazing, you know, because really this was you guys' trip. You can do what you like. You can relax. You can party. You can make Jamaica your way. But if your way says, I want to recruit the island, I say go for it, right? And so without any further ado, our phenomenal Emerald director, I mean, this lady was the MVP um, of the company. Her, she created the rookie of the of the year. So many exciting things are happening with you, Bernadine. You know, we would just love to hear from you and just kind of share with the audience this morning what your experience was and anything that you just have on your heart that you want to say to everybody listening in. Let me tell you, I have to swallow first because I'm I'm sitting here on the side of my bed in tears. Um, I had such an amazing trip. And when you talk about lifestyles for the top five, I mean, having my team, a team member there with me, I said to her that was everything. It was epic for me. And I wound up taking her to the grill because I said, Angie, you and your husband have to experience this like nothing before. And especially since it was free for her, I took her on to the grill. We had a great day in the grill. We went to the beach. It was the most beautiful thing ever and went to Rick's Cafe for dinner, lunch and dinner, and then came back. Just an amazing, amazing time. Melissa, I wanted to see you in Jamaica, but I understand you had to do things in Chicago. But it was such an incredible time. I am, I'm, I'm just, I haven't even absorbed it all yet. I've posted some pictures, but it was the excitement and meeting my Wakana family and other leaders from across this country was really magical. I, I, I don't even know what to say other than I am humbled. My team put me here in this position. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God for the, the push that Wakana Nation gives and Coach Dan and Phyllis every morning. I, I'm just so grateful that God put it in your spirit and gave it to you like you did. And all of the team that showed up, they shored everything up for us and for you while you were, were not there. But those last few days, Melissa, the rafting, the private masseuse for couples massages, the, the things that we were able to do and see, that chef, was the sous chef, oh, man, over the top. The private transportation, the, you know, <laughs> everything. I, I just can't even say it all. But you just don't want to miss. Anybody who was not on this trip, you don't want to ever miss a Wakanda trip. And leaders need to scrap for that top five or top ten. Because once you've experienced it, you never want anything but. Melissa, I love you, and I thank you. Thank my team, and thank all of Wakanda Nation. Wow, Bernadine. Well, you know what? Love you, too. You are just the best of the best. So appreciative of you. Congratulations. That's exciting just to see and hear what you did for your teammates. Because it's really about paying it forward, guys. And you created an experience within an experience. And that just shows next-level leadership. And I think that that is amazing. So great job with that. I know she was so <laughs> appreciative of that. And it's just exciting to hear your excitement and to know where your group is going, guys. Because once you have these moments, like Bernadine said, to connect with the rest of the family, to really see, wow, you're meeting people that you've never met from other cities. 31 people were there. I mean, that's incredible. And that synergy, those nuggets, those times, I mean, it's priceless. And so I thank you for pouring into the audience this morning because that's really what it's about. And what I want to do real quick, because I believe your leader also is on the line, and that is none other than the fabulous Gigi Gloria Harris. Hopefully you're out there, my dear, but just so proud of you and what you've accomplished, hitting not only Emerald Director, creating Emerald Directors, creating Ruby Directors, really leading by example. I know you had a chance to be there in Jamaica with your husband, 
and had a chance to talk to you a few times. So I know for you, the trip went amazing. So just any updates, any nuggets, any words of wisdom you want to share with this group because you are so deserving and just so proud of you, Gigi Harris. And if you can hit star, star. And if she's not there, we'll give her a moment and we'll reach out. We'll click first to see. You, okay, you made it? You're there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm morning, awesome, girl. Morning. I'm like, I know you're out there somewhere. Good morning, good morning, honey. <laughs> good morning, good morning. What kind of nation? Good morning, good morning to Melissa Boston, you know, all the, you know, the founding members of what kind of, you know, for life. I tell you, oh, man, um, this has been one trip to never forget. And to have an all expense paid trip on the level that we were treated, you cannot say anything more than this was magical. And to piggyback off of what um, you know, Bernadine said, I tell you, just to be able to be within the Wakana family, the 31 that was there. You know, we laughed, we cried, we danced. We had an amazing, amazing time. And to be able to be blessed, you know, with the quality of care that we had, there's no complaints. There's no problem. I mean, I've been on some trips, like you said, we've been on trips. But this one here, this has been the trip of all trips since I've been in this industry for the last 30 years. And my hat goes off to you. I know we didn't have you there, but guess what? You had an awesome, awesome corporate team that took care of all five of us. Matter of fact, our spouses were there as well, so it was 10 of us that they had to take care of. But, you know, um, you know with the food, the entertainment, the white party, the dinner party that we had, you know, and then to top it off, you know, leaving and it was bittersweet to have to leave some of our family members um, because some of them had to go home. You know, we had to continue with our treats that you had planned, you know, for us being at the peak of the mountain, you know, staying in the villas and just breathtaking property, just a breathtaking property uh, that's there. You'll be seeing some pictures and some videos you know, um, all of you guys will because we will be putting them out. A lot of us didn't put out pictures because of the fact that we didn't want people to know that we wasn't at home, you know, at the time. But um, I tell you, the rafting that we had for the, the top five, the rafting, the horseback riding, and then we had the party boat. Oh, my gosh. That party boat was phenomenal. And I can tell you, don't challenge what kind of when it comes off to a dance off. You we had one boat that came over next to us and my gosh, what kind of family went wild. And guess what? We had a ball. And then after leaving that property, you know, the excursion, leaving there and then going back, you know, for dinner, you know, at the villa and to see that we had a steel band, a steel band playing for us. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It was amazing. And then to have a dinner where we had lobster, we had calamari, escargos, we had fish, mashed potatoes, asparagus, plantain, you know, and all types of, oh, that chocolate, yeah, uh, I guess it was a, Souffle, that chocolate souffle, I tell you, we could not act for a better dinner. We felt like we was part of the, yeah, the I guess you can say the entertainment industry because you know that's how they live up on top of those mountains like that. But anyway, I can tell you, you did not hold back on the expense of this trip. This has been one amazing trip. We all came back tired. We all came back full, but guess what? We ate what you put out there for us, so ain't no complaints. 
<laughs> we did what we needed to do, but we know what we need to do when we get back. So you got 31 people that should be on the 21-day cleanse starting this week. Amen, y'all. Amen, right? Because we did, <laughs> we did have a ball, okay? And yeah, hey, we drank and we ate, okay? We might have ate off our, you know, uh, our blood type list, but we know what to do, right? Okay, so. I just want to say, you know, Wakana, you, you, hey, this company is the best. It is the best of the best. So, guys, if you wasn't with us this time, you know the clock started over. Okay, so guess what? Let's go to work. Let's get it done. We got Vegas ahead of us, and we all should be in Las Vegas, okay? So, you know, thank you, Melissa. Love you guys. Love my team. My team is the reason why I'm here, you know, because without teamwork, the dream will not work. So let's lock arms, guys, and let's do what we need to do to make what kind of proud of all of us, okay? Thank you, Melissa. Wow. I'm there and listening. I, and I got I'm there listening to the meal, and I'm thinking, yeah, they need a 21 day cleanse now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? Everybody needs to be on the cleanse, right? <laughs> right. That's a good point. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but Gigi, that was so funny when you said get on the cleanse, right? So that means 31 people. Did y'all hear Gigi? Get y'all's cleanse. And some of y'all need the 21 day, okay? We were trying to keep a little bit healthy, but you know, we did a lot of seafood. But hey, I know some of y'all have been pigging out on everything else. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Oxtail. laughs> what happens oh. in Jamaica stays in Jamaica. <laughs> oh, that- no problem, no problem. And that's, speaking of that, speaking of that, I know we have our Diamond the Willie answer. Mooney on the line, too. So Diamond Willie Mooney, I mean, you are so deserving. You crushed it last year. Can't wait to see you guys just soar to new heights, you know, as you set the tone, set the pace for the company as our number one earner. I know you probably got some nuggets to share. I've seen some of your videos. What do you got to say, sir, this morning? Well, uh... You know what? I, I'm 100% sure that the dynamics of the trip is going to be covered. But you opened up by saying that there were teams that were there and their teams and teams, you know, were there. I want to highlight how wonderful people that were. So I want to get a shout out to my direct lead saying uh, uh, midwife for this company because and then to you first, Melissa, for having a vision. But then a shout out to the midwife of this company who represented, um, who was able to birth into our whole team, Phyllis Nash, right? Who represented both sides of, uh, who shared her, her vision with us as far as how wonderful a true experience was. And we got a chance to experience that. Her whole team got a chance, your whole team got a chance to experience on a level that we have never experienced before. So from, I mean, Beverly Blair, who's my upline, Shannon King, Eric Strickland was there. I was there. My wife was there. And then to have a customer there, Tamika Hughes, a customer who said, I want to be in Jamaica. And we all party like rock stars. And not and every single person earned to be there. And just to put it out there, even my wife. My wife painted the vision for what we were going to do in Jamaica. She was the first one to say, we're going to Jamaica. I'm going to hit Ruby for both of us. But Ruby had to be hit twice. So that means... I had to earn my own way after my wife made the decree in the household, but she earned her way and it just shot. I mean, it was just wonderful. Yeah, it was hard hitting diamond, but I look at Tamika and I look at some of the people from the other teams that were there that I got a chance to meet and everybody, it was like a wonderful experience because they knew that they had worked hard to be there. And then the top five, oh my God. Man, y'all, you all, I just say glue yourselves to Facebook for the next couple of days because it's going to go viral all the way from the men of Wakana. Wow, it's just amazing experience. Breaking bed, looking at the game, doing whatever we wanted to do. No worries, man. 
I'm so I and I'm not gonna go into that area because there's another area where I would just bust down and cry for all the conversations and love that we share with one another. So with that being said, I'm gonna tap out. Um, but thank you so much. Your presence there, Melissa, was definitely felt. You showed so much love to us. Your your spirit was there, and I just thank God for you. All right, I'm out. I thank God for you, and you are just amazing. And I tell you what, you're so right. You know, every single person there, 31 people, winners, guys. I mean, everybody won, and that was the exciting part. But then to see people like Ann, right, lead by example first, getting the ruby, and then pulling you along. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. And you're right, customers won. Beatrice who actually joined the challenge was there, Beatrice Foster. Tamika, who actually won the first challenge was there when we had our free giveaways. And so just so many different types of people being there all under one umbrella at that resort, bonding and just fellowshipping. I love you guys, you're just so amazing. And that is just awesome to hear everybody's perspective. And so I'm gonna move to Kathy Weathersby before I bring up Dan Johnson. And I hope Phyllis is on. But um, Kathy Weathersby, our phenomenal Emerald Director, our VP of Finance, leading by example, actually not only did she make the trip, but actually had several people on her team. I believe about three different people from her team also qualified for the trip. I know her group is headed to Diamond. Just love everything that you've done, Kathy. I know you earned the trip, but you were also there you know, every day just helping to ensure everything ran smoothly. So I owe you another trip. <laughs> so I will be coming down to South Carolina to see you and whisking you off somewhere for all that you've done just to serve and to, to ensure things are so seamless. And so without any further ado, Kathy Weathersby, can you join us and share your perspective of what happened this week? Can you hear me? I can. Oh, my goodness, Melissa. I'm sure you can probably hear that my voice is deeper than normal <laughs> because there's a <clears throat> there is a reason to be hoarse. We had such a good time. We were there at the Ryu Palace, which was the uh oh, there's my alarm. Uh we went we started out at the Ryu Palace, which is the top of the line in Jamaica for that uh for that brand, allowing us to go to not only that awesome resort, but the two other sister resorts. Guys, so we in Jamaica, the bulk of us had a chance to enjoy three all inclusive resorts. Then <clears throat> being part of the top five, there's nothing like that to be able to be whisked away to Villa Life. Um <laughs> there's nothing like Villa Life and you know sometimes when you experience uh, another level, you can't go backwards. It's kind of like what Dr. Pat says in our presentation, a mind uh, learned, uh, you can't unlearn that. You can't change what you've already experienced. Once you've experienced that, you can't go back. The first time that we experienced all-inclusive, we knew we couldn't travel any other way. Well, it's now at another level. Now that we've experienced villa life, <clears throat> there's no other way to travel for us. So we absolutely will fight, fight, fight to continue to be in the top because we don't ever, ever want to miss out on the type, the level, the excitement, the fun, everything that we experience. And guys, you're right, uh, Gigi was right. Don't ever challenge a Wakana, a ship full of Wakana people to a dance off because as Willie Mooney can tell you, and that's all I'm going to tell you, that we win. All we do is win. <laughs> and we have fun doing it. We have lots of laughs. Um, I'm telling you, to be able to have three team members, Janine Black, Lisa Lee Gardner, and Kimberly and Philip Dutree, to be able to have them and their spouses. And Janine was even able to bring her uh, her son, Drake, to have them there, to enjoy, have, see them enjoy family time, to, to see them to really relax, chill, enjoy their lives was the ultimate to be able to have team members there. So those of you that are building, those of you that uh, almost made it, those of you that didn't have it on your radar, this is absolutely something that you don't ever, ever, ever want to miss. You see, for me and Adrian, <clears throat> this was a celebration of our 16th anniversary. And it was the first time in 16 years 
that we didn't pay for our anniversary trip. We always celebrate it, but of course, it's always an expense we have to budget in. Now, to do it at this level was absolutely next level. So whatever you were celebrating, there were people celebrating birthdays and other anniversaries and the, the private moments that Adrian and I were able to create because of this trip are sealed in our memory forever. It, it created um, lifetime memories that we can never, ever uh, uh, match. And just thank you so much, Melissa, for everything that you've done. Like Willie said, watch out for social media. I was one of those people, Gigi, that don't really post a lot when I'm out of town. So, um, but we're, we're going to be doing that. And uh, just thank you. Thank you so much, Melissa, for everything that you do. Back at you, Kathy. Thank you for everything that you do, and I really mean that when I say, "Hey, I'll be there. We're going to do something for you." Because I'm telling you what, you, you was holding it down. Just appreciate that so, so, so much. And I would definitely to see us dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. I, I'm listening. <laughs> I said I'll definitely take that. <laughs> okay, wonderful. I want to check in real quick to see if Dan made the line before I give him the intro. Dan, are you out there? I am here. I am here. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard your voice. So let me make sure because I know you are a busy man and just jet setting every day. So without any further ado, you know, it was so refreshing when your flight finally got in on Friday. I, like I told you, Dan, I need you to be my eyes and ears at this point because you were holding it down at one villa. Kathy and Phyllis was holding it down at the other villa. <laughs> and you were just amazing. Just such a servant leader. I appreciate all that you do as our VP of training. Um, can you just kind of share your perspective? Because I know you're going to have some some great nuggets for everybody as far as what you experienced those few days you were there with the top five. Let me let me just first say, say thank you, uh, Melissa, for being a visionary. Um, one of the, the reasons why many of us do not have access to certain things in life is because we've never been exposed to it. We don't know to reach for it because we've never seen it. And the fact that you created an atmosphere based on hard work and dedication and commitment for people to be exposed to something that they may not have been exposed to before, what it does is it sets the bar for their vision to go to the next level and it causes their reach to become even stronger. And I'm telling you, it was an absolutely amazing time. Um, the top five, I felt like when I landed, they was taking care of me as much as I was trying to take care of them. So finally, I told every, I told folks to sit their assets down somewhere. It's time for them to be served. They earned it. And I'm telling you, it was just absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The experience was amazing. I sent a text to my family who had just left. Um, from the Bahamas and said, hey, you know what? I love my job. And my daughter said, what job? And then the wife said, empowering people and, and being around people and, and networking with people and serving people, that's his job. And that really was. And to, let's, I mean, from, from the start to finish, it was great. The camaraderie was great. The poolside chats was great. Uh, the excursions was absolutely amazing. And and here's why the top were at the top. I'm going to show you why the top was at the top. Because those that were at the top never stopped working. Even though we were on party boats, and y'all talking about a dance, that Gigi Harris has an energizer battery in her. She got on the party boat, went to the top of the boat, and danced the entire trip. She did nothing but dance the entire trip. And while she was dancing, there was two kinds of people watching. One group of people was watching in amazement and honor, and the other ones was laughing because they couldn't understand why this lady was up here dancing the entire trip. But you know what she was also doing? She was passing out business cards. She was passing out her business cards while dancing. And the business cards had what she looked like in the 50s and what she looked like in the 60s. And you know what took place after that? I watched, I personally watched them young ladies start passing her business cards around, taking pictures, saying, oh my God, she is beautiful. Look at her. Listen, I'm telling you that's why she's at the top. Because while she's dancing and getting her party on, 
she was also working. Then so so that's one I gotta call out. Then you got you got Bernadine who just never stopped. Every five seconds I look up, somebody got a card in the hand. And as a result of that, we're able to see why people are at the top. You had Mr. Diamond Mooney. Um, I didn't know that that Dr. Mooney can twerk. Well, we'll talk about that. Y'all see that later. But <laughs> but if the boat came when the competition came and they started challenging us, there was no outdoing Dr. Diamond Moon. I mean, that leg went up. I didn't know it could go that high. And, and the reality is, but he had already made the connection. He had already got so their, their social media and, and all of those type of things. And that's why you have those individuals at the top. They're at the top because no matter what's happening, they don't stop working. They are working while having fun. And that's the beautiful thing about this business, you guys. You, you can literally work and have fun at the same time. You get paid to live this kind of life. I say that it's unfair, but you know what? It is fair. It's fair to those that put their hands to the plow and don't look back. It's fair for those that says, um, like a Ann Mooney, we're going to Jamaica. It wasn't no if ands, or buts about it. We are going to Jamaica. And as a result, they went to Jamaica. It's fair to those that put in the work, that get on these calls and pay attention and follow instructions. And as we sit and talk to the top leaders, how did you get here? The conversations that I was having, it was they all pretty much said the same thing. They pay attention and follow instructions. And they do it without fail. The last piece that I'll say is this. For those of you that are, are, are female and you're looking to get your husbands involved, start winning. Don't make this just something you're doing on the side. Start winning. I'm telling you, um, I appreciate the females of the top five. I appreciate Dr. Diamond, and he could, uh, Dr. Diamond Mooney can attest to this, but it was so fun hanging out with, as I would say, the men of Wakanda. It was so fun. And as I sat in the cut and talked to them, they know what's going on. They made it. One of them, uh, Carlos, Carlos, that's Miss Bernadine's husband, he said, all right, Coach Dan, you're going to see my face in one of them squares. What he was talking about is when we're on them Zoom calls, normally they off to the cut, eavesdropping, listening in. But as they get to come and, and feel the Wakana culture, the Wakana family, the Wakana way, now they say, hey, I don't want to just be off in the cut in the other room. I want to get on the screen. I want to be seen. We talked to another husband, Dr. Phil, and, and his passion and desire to, to go out and help and, and, and make things work. And we talked to him and his wife about how they can work as a team and where his strength is and where her strength. I mean, it was just a wonderful time of impartation. It was a wonderful time of celebration. And I honored the, the, the 30 ones that went, the top five that I was able to hang with. It was my pleasure to serve. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to continue to see you rise to the top, the very top, the tip, tip, top. Back to you, Melissa. Amen. And, you know, you painted a good visual on that catamaran. I'm still fishing GG with Diamond Mooney. I can't wait to see the footage, y'all. Y'all got to put that on social media. <laughs> But that was beautiful, Dan. You really do a great job really just painting, you know, the vision, really kind of showing us what what happened. So just thank you for that, all that you do. And I want to see, is Phyllis on the line? I would love for her to give some closing remarks. Phyllis Nash, are you on the line before I introduce you? I am on here, but oh, I'm Phyllis. not talking. But one thing I can say is that every time you hear me give a testimony, it's always my passion is food and travel. And I did a lot of travel before I came into the industry. But like Gigi or whoever said it, it's nothing like traveling when everything is paid for. And those experiences you guys had, if you've never experienced the villa lifestyle, then now you know that there's just no other way to go. Your mind opens up. You're right. That quote from Einstein that says, once the mind is stretched, it can never go back. So for those of you all that are listening that may not have gotten on this Jamaica trip, 
That's why it's so worth working as hard as you can. See, if you put a trip in front of you and you know what the experience is and that it could, it's going to be even better than the last one, then you work like a Hebrew slave because the payoff is so, so exciting. And so I'm just happy for everybody that experienced something new. I'm excited for you to share those experiences. And I think for every one of those top five, they have a goal of having at least five of their team members or 10 on the next trip to Vegas. And 420. So I'm going to stop talking because my voice is gone, but uh, I'm going to send a special, special, special shout out to Kathy and Adrian Weathersby for all that they did on this trip while they were enjoying their own. They were the top five, but they didn't act like it. They took care of everybody. So thank you guys. And back to you, Melissa. And I hear your voice, Phyllis. Thank you for all that you do, too. I mean, just there representing, leading by example, Diamond Two Star, breaking all the records and helping this whole group to qualify and win. So, guys, you really owe so much to our phenomenal CSO as well. So, again, just appreciate this whole line. It's been so exciting. I'm living through y'all's comments every day when I was talking to various people. I have to live vicariously through each and every one of you. So, thank you guys for painting the vision this morning. You got me pumped up and excited. I know everybody else on the line is pumped up and excited. What I'm going to do instead of reading all the CV, I'm only going to acknowledge those of you who did silver. And next week, we'll, we'll talk about the bronze. But it's under 10 people, so if you can bear with us, these are those who in the month of May qualified at the silver level. We have Cynthia McKnight-Taylor, Dr. Rosalind Shaw-Belt, Frida McDuffie, Deborah blackman Parrish, Tara Shackerfield, Bernadine Kirkland, Doris F. Mosley, and Ernestine Davis. Congratulations. Congra now, some of y'all was really close. I'm not going to say your name, but you may want to check your CV for May, okay, because <laughs> you probably should have been at a 1,000. But for those of you who hit that silver, big shout out to each and every one of you. And with that said, you know, I want to remind everyone to join us at 2.30 p.m. with our phenomenal VP of our hair division, trichologist Doris Mosley and Dr. Rita McGuire. That's happening at 2.30, saveourstrands.com. Then we have our 7.30 kickoff party and then the 8 p.m. Central Zoom, and that's our virtual corporate Zoom. Join us tonight, host your grand opening tomorrow, wake up to the Diamond Factory. I tell you what, you're not gonna wanna miss that. I'm sure we have some awesome nuggets. Our phenomenal CSO, Phyllis Nash, is gonna share with each and every one of you. And with that being said, guys, a lot more happening, but we ran out of time. So again, jump on tomorrow. We're gonna see you where? At the top, the very top, the tip top, I want everyone to have a what kind of day.